Hello everybody, today we have a brand new discovery that makes a previously known strat viable and will change Amy Story speedruns as we know it. Now, if you aren't familiar with Sonic Adventure DX speedruns, you may not know that Amy Story speedruns are some of the most technical in the game. This new discovery will take this already difficult category even farther. Without further ado, let's get into it. On January 29th, Nixer, one of the top runners in the community, discovered a new way to clip through this wall, now known as Banana Clip. There was a way to clip into this section before, however, this required Zero to push you through it, and doing this lost a significant amount of time, as you needed to activate this event and lure Zero over. Instead of clipping into this section, the few runners who went for these risky strategies, like KD4 and Spacebar, who both held world record in the last year, instead opted to do what is known as Elevator Skip. But when Nixer discovered this new method, that all changed. All of a sudden, because of Banana Clip, the wall float skip became faster to do in runs. This new clip saves 11 seconds over the old version, making this definitively the fastest version of Final Egg. Wall float works by using the backwards skid, or backwards turnaround, you can sometimes see while playing the game normally. This will happen when you have speed, and then input the opposite direction, causing the character to skid to a halt. Speedrunners use this state to their advantage to make wall float possible. If you turn Amy around midair and have her land facing away from the wall as she does a backwards turnaround, wall float can occur. However, there are even more factors that complicate the skip. There has to be a very specific collision, like there is right here, where a steep slant meets a flat wall, you can have Amy land while being parallel to the wall in the game's view. The thing that makes this difficult to get consistently is you need to perform an instant turnaround, which is when a character lands from the air while inputting the opposite direction in a tight frame window. Most runners will pause advance this to change directions instantly, since the game doesn't count time in the pause menu. At this moment, Amy's velocity is reversed. Instead of falling down the slope with a ton of speed, her speed is flipped, so she goes backwards. This tough execution, along with variance in speed and position, makes the skip feel sometimes unreliable and tough to go for in the last split. With the current Amy Story world record being a 901 by Nixer, set right before this new discovery, it's likely that we'll see another record set again. The sub-9 is likely one of the last minute barriers broken in SADX, at least in the foreseeable future, and it can happen just about any day now. I did however mention that this category is insanely difficult. Every stage in the run is a big point of reset, and top runners of the category have to grind out runs to even get a chance to attempt wall float. There is Castle Skip, which is an incredibly precise skip that avoids most of Twinkle Park by skipping right to the end some difficult platforming and tight clips that allow runners to skip the puzzles in Hot Shelter and even more in this stage. And then after all of this, these doors are the hardest part of the run. These five doors only have one correct choice that will lead you to the end of the stage, and they are chosen at random. So runners need to play near flawlessly for six to seven minutes of the run, just to have a one in five chance to have it be the run. Doors have been something that has plagued the category for years, and has actually killed quite a few runs that have landed wall float or elevator skip, and it will certainly happen again. With some difficult overworld movement and a final boss with some variance to it right after, this world record would still be tough to beat, even with this new discovery. As difficult as setting a new record will be, SADX runners have shown time and time again that they are willing to put in the work and the attempts that are needed. And I have no doubt that an incredible run is coming soon. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more Sonic speedrunning content in the future, consider subbing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Have a great rest of your day.